Good morning, boys and girls, and today for math, we're going to be reading another book that you have never heard before. This book is titled, When a Line Begins, or When a Line Bends. Let's say, may I say it again? When a line bends, three dots, a shape begins. This book is written by Rhonda Gowler Green. And what you're going to learn are different kinds of shapes that are formed with lines. You have to pay attention to where you see them in the in the environment because that's what we're studying in this week. How to find shapes in our view either inside of our house or outside. Let's begin. When a line bends, a shape begins. A line is thin. A line is narrow. Curved like a worm, straight like an arrow. A line is a, is a jump rope. Black ants in a row. A tug of war game and a violin bow. A tall pole of fishing, a leash, and a trail, a kite string, a shoelace, a whisker, a tail. Yes, a line is fine, but when a line swerves, when a line bends, watch what happen. What can happen? A shape begins. So, you see how he's bending it? That's what they're talking about. And watch that the bird is on every single page. So, do you think he's the one that's talking in the story? I think so. A square is four sides, all the same. The, the boxes of a hopscotch game. A patch to cover up your knee. A present sent from you to me. A checkboard of red and black blocks to build with. Share and stack. A cracker is a square to eat. A square dance is for happy feet. So everything they're talking about is in the picture. I wonder where the bird is here. Can you find him? A rectangle is like a square with something arranged, rearranged. Two sides are long and two sides are short. The four sides now are changed. Rectangles are rectangles a book to read, a window, on a door, a picture hanging on the wall, a rug that warms the floor, a sign for selling lemonade, a box that you can hide in, a letter from the postman, and a wagon to ride in. So all of those things, you see them in the picture, and they are all rectangles. By the way, do you see the bird? A triangle is three, three sides, three corners to the white sail of a boat and a tent built just for you. A jack-o'-lantern's eyes, a wicked witch's hat, the beak of a black crow, and the pricked ears of a cat. An instrument to ring, 
the pyramids of old. A lunch of jam and bread, a napkin in a fold. Those are all triangles. Now, noticeably, the bird changed color. Hmm. He's not red anymore. A diamond sits upon a point, its four sides as the same. A giant green one is the infield of a baseball game. Yellow ones along the road serve as war warning signs. Black and white ones stand out bold in fancy floor designs. Baby's gates are wooden, one that you can stretch or squeeze. A ballerina's legs form one when bending at the knees. And so those are diamonds. We call them rumbus, of course, but in the story they're using diamonds. A circle's, a circle's, a button, a sock hole to mend, a shiny blue marble, a penny to spend, a bubble, a yo-yo, a red hula hoop, the bowl man fills with hot noodle soup, a nest in a tree, a cookie to eat, symbols to clang, a big drum to beat, bicycle wheels, a tin tambourine, a tiny curled kitten, a crown for a queen. And those are circles that you can see in the environment. Can you find the bird? An oval like a circle, except it's not a stout. Side, two sides go in to make it thin. Two other sides go out. Oval is a turtle shell. A way up high balloon. A beetle and a jelly bean. The curved scoop of a spoon. Little, it's a mirror made to look in. An egg color bright, a mouth that's filled with singing and baby bundle tight. Those are all ovals. And if you notice, there's more than one bird, but there's always the one that started the story. A star is a, po a five point shape, shining bright. Star shares the sky with a moon late at night. It tops tinsled tins tins trees in a season so merry. It sits on the tip of the wand of a fairy. Gold ones are given for good work in schools. The sheriff's stars warns the bad guys of rules. A shooting star vanishes quick quick with a swish. Star is even the shape of a fish. And I wonder where you see the bird. Heart goes beat, but beat, but beat inside. You all the time. It also is the shape that says, I love you, Valentine. Yeah, he's in there. He's very tiny, though. A crescent is a slender shape, a yellow fruit to eat, a hammock strung 
between two trees for Dad to rest his feet. It is a smile when curving up, when down it is a frown. It is the moon when day is done that hangs above a town. Oh, the bird is tired, laying down on a hammock. Interesting, right? Stop! An octagon has many sides, all counted. There are eight. Yes, you see it. At the corner, it tells the cars to wait. Shapes are here, shapes are there. Wherever you look, a circle, a square, a diamond, an octagon, crescent, or star shapes to discover wherever you are. And always looking for that bird because he is the one that's reading in the story. A rectangle, triangle over our heart, shapes with a curve or a corner to start. Anywhere, everywhere, shapes big and small, dependable, bendable lines make them all. And he has them all at the end of the story. The end. I hope you like this story and that you're able to find them in the environment. Because smart is not something you are. Smart is something you get.